ब्रह्मनाथ ओ शांति 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 ही स्वस्थ गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू बिगिन विद अ पोएम द इंच केप रॉक बाय रॉबर्ट साउदी we are going to learn or discuss the first unit of this poem the inchcape rock robert saudi was born on 12th of august 1974 and he died on 21st of march 1843 he was an english romantic poet was a prolific letter writer literary scholar essay writer a historian and a biographer and the inchcape rock is actually a perilous reef perilous means dangerous so the inchcape rock is a perilous reef in the east coast of scotland near the mouth of the river tay and as the rock was a few inches above the sea so it was visible during the low tides but was covered by the sea during the high tides or when the sea was stormy or rough the poem the inchcape rock is about this notorious rock or the perilous reef called the inchcape rock and about sir ralph the rover who had to pay his life because of committing a crime of removing the inchcape bell there was a huge bell which was tied to this inchcape rock and so it was known as the inchcape bell that was tied to this inchcape rock and sir ralph the rover had to pay his life as a crime of removing that inchcape bell as a sin against humanity so now let's get to the poem and get started with the first stanza no steer in the air no steer in the sea the ship was still as she could be her sails from heaven received no motion her keel was steady in the ocean here in the first stanza the poet has given us a picture of stillness or calmness of the air the sea the ship her sails and the ocean stir s t i r stir means movement the poet says there was no movement no stir no movement that's a picture a picture of robert saudi in his first stanza has given us a picture of stillness that the air the sea the ship her sails and the ocean look motionless there is no movement and so her keel her means the ship's keel what do you mean by keel keel means the bottom part of the ship the bottom part of the ship did not have movement it wasn't in motion it was motionless as everything was still the air the sea the ship her sails her sails refers to the sail of the ship and the ocean everything that was a look a picture of stillness and everything was motionless without either sign or sound of their shock the waves flowed over the inchcape rock so without any sign shock here refers to accident okay so without any signs of any accident without any signs of any kind of undamp situation in the sea why because everything was motionless the poet has already given us a picture of stillness that everything 
was still. There was no motion. There was no movement. And so there was no chance or sign or symbol of any accident in the sea. The waves flowed over the Inchcape Rock. The waves, they were flowing over the Inchcape Rock. So little they rose and little they fell, past tense of rise. So little water did rise up and little water did come back. The, the water that rose that also fell back. They did not move the Inchcape bill. I will tell you that there was a huge bill that was tied to this Inchcape rock. And that bell was known as Inchcape bill. So they, the bell did not move because that was a huge bell. A little bit of water that pushed up, rose up and fell down. Couldn't move the bell at all. Okay. So... Then let's see what happened now and who had tied the Inchcape bell. What was the real notion behind tying that bell? Let's see. So in unit now get to stanza 3. The abode of Agrabotha had placed that bell on the Inchcape rock. So who had placed the bell? The Inchcape bell was tied by. Who had tied it? Abode of Agrabotha. He had tied it. Abode had tied this Inchcape bell. And where had he tied it? On the Inchcape rock. On the peak of the Inchcape rock, Abode had tried, he had tied up this Inchcape bell. Had placed that bell on the Inchcape rock. On a boy in the storm, it floated and swung. Boy, here the meaning is a floating object on the sea to mark a dangerous place. Okay, so that bell was taken as a boy, as a floating object which would mark a dangerous place. And so that bell, the inch-shaped bell that was tied by a boat of Abutok was in fact taken as a boy, as an object that was floating in water. That was tied, that was placed on the peak of the Inchcape Rock to mark a dangerous place. Okay? And over the waves, its warning rang. So it was just, it used to give a warning. And the boy in the storm, it floated and swung. And over the waves, its warning rang. So whenever, whenever, as did I, I told you that. The rock was a few inches above the sea and that was visible during the low tides. But during the high tides, when the sea water covered the rock completely, this bell and uh, the sea used to become, the water used to become stormy and rough. The bell used to ring and used to give a warning as a boy that was floating in water to mark a dangerous place. When the rock was hit by the searcher's swell, searcher's swell here can mean rise of the tidal waves. And when the, there used to be high tides or tidal waves, at that time the rock used to get completely hidden up because the water level used to rise up. Water level rises up when there is high tides. Or the sea becomes, or the water becomes stormy, it becomes rough. The water level rises up. And as the peak of this Inchcape rock was, or the rock was a few inches above, and it was visible during low tides, when there was no motion, no movement in the sea that was visible. But when it used to be high tides, the sea used to get stormy and rough. Water level used to increase and during high tides, the complete rock used to get covered with water by the sea and it was not at all visible. And so when the rock was hit by the surges swell, means rise of the tidal waves, the rock used to get covered up. It wasn't visible at all. The mariners heard the warning bell. So how did this bell function? What was the work of this uh, Inchcape bell that was tied by the abode to the Inchcape rock? 
the bell used to mark as a warning bell when there used to be high tides and there used to be rough water that used to push the bell and the bell used to ring and that used to mark or that used to warn the mariners mariners means the sailors so that used to mark the sailor or the mariner about the warning that used to give a warning about the danger ahead because the rock used to get completely covered with water if the water used to complete the uh, cover the rock it wasn't visible to the sailor or mariner and the ship would face an accident would get ruined would get destructed hitting itself to the rock but because of this inch shaped bell even in the high tides when the water used to get rough and used to be stormy the bell used to ring and that used to give a warning to the sailors saying that there's danger ahead okay and then they knew the perilous rock and blessed the abode of agrothop so what happened here it means that bless means to praise or praised okay to praise so they used to listen to the warning bell the mariners the sailors who used to sail in the sea during the high tides or when the sea was stormy and a rough when they used to sail and this bell that was tied to the inch cape rock used to ring because of the pushing of the water and when the bell used to ring that used to give a warning to the sailors marking that there's danger ahead and so the sailors the mariners used to make sure that they used to point out that that the inch cape rock is there and they used to save their life and property they used to save their ship from destruction and they used to bless or praise the abort because abort who's in abort abort is actually the head of a monastery okay is known as an abort a boat of agrotop and so the mar mariners the sailors used to praise and bless him because of the noble deed of the work that he had done of tying an inch cape bell to the inch cape rock which was known to be a very dangerous rock or a perilous reef because it was visible during low tides because few inches above it used to be in the water but during high tides it used to get completely covered by the sea and used to become a very dangerous point where the mariners or sailors used to hit the ship and life and property used to get ruined because of the abort of abrotop who had done a noble deed of saving life and property doing good to humanity he tied a bell onto this inch cape rock and that bell was known as an inch cape bell as it was tied to the inch cape rock and when the tides used to be there used to be high tide waves that used to and the sea used to be stormy and rough the mariners or sailors used to immediately trace out by the sound of the bell which used to be a warning for them and they used to make up that the dangerous rock is nearby and they used to save their life and property and so the sailors or the mariners used to praise they used to bless the abort for doing that noble deed so with this we have completed the first unit the poem is in fact divided into three units okay and so we have completed with the first unit of the inch cape rock let's just discuss two questions okay the first question how does the poet describe the inch cape rock how does the poet describe the inch cape rock the inch cape rock was a few inches above the sea during the low tides but during the high tides or when the uh, sea used to be rough and stormy the rock was completely covered by the sea clear the second question why did the abort place a bell on the inch cape rock 
Why did the abode place a bell on the Inchcape Rock? The abode of Abertoch or the abode placed a bell on the Inchcape Rock so that the mariners or the sailors could easily warn and make out the dangerous rock or the Inchcape Rock nearby. Clear? So with this, we pause with Unit 1, the Inchcape Rock. Thank you.